Yo, we back once again, and my video got taken down again, bro. The anime one, the one of the two dudes throwing hands over what is the best anime. Like, I don't understand that, bro. Again, like, I was kind of expecting it to get taken down. I was thinking, like, yo, there is a good chance. But the video managed to survive, like, three, four days. And it was like, yo, maybe this shit's not going to get taken down. But it got taken down. So I'm so heated right now. And the thing is, bro, that video is already on YouTube. All I did was commentate on it. I changed up the storyline a bit. So if the original video did not get taken down, why did mine get taken down? So that just shows that it does not violate any guidelines. Like, bro, those dudes didn't even look like they were fighting, bro. They were play fighting. They were doing like anime kicks and shit, like spinning hill kicks, like all that shit, like jumping up and stuff. Like that was not an actual fight, bro. Like there's full on MMA videos on YouTube. You got street fight videos. You got world star hip hop compilations. And that stuff does not violate YouTube terms of service. So why is mine taken down, bro? It's because YouTube's trying to censor me, homie. And the thing that's kind of annoying is they don't give a reason. They just kind of show like, yo, this is inappropriate content. Like, be more specific. Like, I want to know what I did. Like, what was wrong with the video? They don't tell you anything. So it's just an automated system. Like, this video just looks at it, bro. They see like two dudes throwing hands with no shirt on and they ban the video straight away. So I sent an appeal. I already know it's going to get banned. Like, they're not going to accept that appeal, bro. They're not even going to look at it, bro. It's going to be an AI that just sees it. And they're just gonna like, yo, okay, deny. So they ain't gonna do shit, basically. So I'm thinking like, what even is the point of the system? Like the appeal system, if they're not gonna look at it. Because Critical, also known as Penguins, like he had the same shit happen to him, right? He sent an appeal and it got declined, bro. And he has 6 million subs. So if he has 6 million subs and his shit gets denied, bro, I got no chance, homie. The only reason that he got his video back was because Markiplier got involved, homie. Markiplier, the GOAT, came in clutch. They started making, like, videos about it, raging to YouTube, going on Twitter and shit. The whole fan base raging at YouTube. That's when they got something to happen, bro. But for me, homie, there's no counterplay. I'm basically screwed right now. And it kind of just shows how head-ass YouTube is, bro. First, we got Leafy getting banned unfairly. Like, that ban was number one bullshit, bro. Love him or hate him, homie. That was unfair. And then, meanwhile, you got, like, Pollution Entertainment and channels like that killing cats for views. And that shit's cool, bro. Apparently, YouTube likes cats dying, which is some head-ass shit, bro. They probably jerk off to cats getting stepped on and shit. Because I know YouTube bunch of head-asses, bro. But to this day, Pollution Entertainment, this channel still stands, bro. Like, what? YouTube's tripping balls right now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they're actually tripping balls, bro. Yeah, homie, maybe I should re-upload that video, bro. In my appeal message, I was so close to being like, fuck you guys, you guys suck, bro. But I was like, nah, if I do that, there's no way they're going to accept my appeal. But then now I'm thinking back and they're not even going to look at my appeal. So I should have just wrote that, bro. Nothing would have happened. They wouldn't even know that I said that. Yeah, I'm basically just going to go chill, eat some dope-ass garlic bread. YouTube is a head-ass. I'm out this bitch.